Yo, yo, yo. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Wildcast Podcast. This is Johnny Trombone tuning in to you live with my boys, man. We got Bear Society 2.0 in the motherfucking building. We got, you doing? You got stick duffers in the stick building. Duffers, mm-hmm. Stick duffers, man. Y'all may remember him from the last episode, these two, man. Everybody's been going crazy. We're like, man, y'all got to have my back. So guess what? These boys are now the co-hosts of Wildcat. So yeah, we're going to get straight to it, man. Money. I recently saw that the best way to save money is to invest it in life insurance. Mm. Whole life insurance, universal life insurance. What do you think is um, a better benefit, investing in whole life insurance and or investment in just uh, regular like health, death, benefit insurance? Because whole life insurance, you can actually take out that money at a cash value and it grows every year at 4%. So what y'all think about that shit? Um, my opinion, I just know a little bit about life insurance, yeah. so I will go with what I know because I don't know anything about whole life insurance, but I'm interested in finding out, exactly. and that's why we got hey, you here to let us know a little bit, you know? And but also, don't they have like um, a system where you can buy life insurance policies for people? Yeah. So what is that, what is that considered? So with whole life insurance, there is term and perm. So term is like for like, uh, say a set amount of years, 10, 20, 30, and I wanna invest like say $163 a month for 20 years, 30 years, and every year your money grows. And permanent means that you have no term. So you it's just till, basically till you transition on to the afterlife. Fucking you're paying for this money and stuff like that. So me personally, I uh, invested in term uh, insurance first because that's what they recommended. It was like, oh, you should do term first, and obviously, hopefully, you know, by the grace of God, with advances in medicine and all that stuff, people are living longer, people are living healthier lives and shit. So you'll outlive your policy, and then you can make it a, t- a permanent policy. That was the best recommendation that I got. So it's pretty cool. I don't really know as much, but I do know that your money grows four percent every year. So Right now, my age is what my age is. And then the next year, I would um, invest my money during that whole term. It would have grown at least $2,500. So imagine putting your money at Chase Bank, Bank of America, where it grows at 0.000% versus freaking 4%. You know what I'm saying? It's a no-brainer. So everybody out here who's watching, find a good life insurance company. If you want to know what I work with, I work with Quility. Quility. Q U I L I T Y. They're known all over the world. So that was the first shit I loved. I, uh, like it popped up uh, Whole Life Insurance. It was the first link on the fucking thing. So I was like, man, fuck it. They got to be real. For they sure. got to be verified. So we're going to keep it going. You know what I'm sure. saying? It was like, do your own research. Exactly. Do your research first. Do your due diligence. But life insurance, man, if, if you want to start somewhere and invest in your money where you can't do, like, real estate and shit yet, life insurance is the way to go, bro. At least to have some something where you know something's coming back to you in 20 years. You can take it out tax deferred. So that means that the government can't tax you. That's why you didn't learn this shit in school. You know what I'm saying? Because sure, none of this shit. So a lot of shit they don't teach you in school. Though. Like, yeah, that's yeah, so right. Yeah. 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 But learn from the homeboys and just the internet. I mean, teachers should be the highest paid people on the planet. Yeah, that's very true, bro. I've, I've met. I'm pretty sure all y'all have had teachers who inspired y'all to just do better. And <laughs> we know how to read because of teachers today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Mr. Carr. You know Shout out Mr. Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninth yeah. grade. I don't even remember him. <laughs> 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 Oh, I got a lot of teachers to shout out, but, you know, shout out to all the educators out there, man. Young and old who do their thing. For sure. Oh, no. no, there's a lot of fucked up teachers as well, you know? Oh, yeah, for oh, sure. Because they was probably... We ain't talking like, we no. talk about no teachers, man. Okay, we talk, talk about the good ones. So the shout yeah, out to you, know, you know, the few the few bad egg shit is one of them. I learned it, for sure. That's that's a good way to look at it. But you also learned a lot from the negative teachers. 
know what I'm saying? Like how you don't want to do, or also sometimes where they're so negative, so mean on you, where it's like, damn, they talking that real shit. Hey, they tired of this curriculum. When I was a jit, bro, I had a, I, I still remember, I had a third grade teacher, her name was Miss February, bro. She kicked me off my chair. Third grade, bro. I got Sounds kicked nice. off my chair by a white, blonde headed, yeah. fat lady. What's her name? Oh, Miss February. We're gonna let her out. Yeah, man. Miss I'm trying, I'm trying to remember what the name, the name of the school was. Nah, it's alright. <laughs> but nah, that's fucked up. Any like, cause recently, bro, there's a lot of like uh, where kids are getting like smacked around and shit at these like child care places, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, back hundred years ago, that shit used to happen in the regular. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. get the pass like you around. Everything <laughs> digital. So everybody's seen everything. Yeah. Sure. So, but moving forward, fucking, that was just a tip, a daily tip that we wanted to give to y'all. Whole life insurance, anything that we come across, I feel like everybody should invest in universal life insurance where you can actually use the cash that you invest and take it out tax-free, put it down on some rental property, or like say your boys all come together and pull money to get a spot, to get a property, to get a, a restaurant location, anything, you can use that money tax-free and take that shit out. And then the month after that, you take it out, you just keep building it back up, back up again. So just keep on going. Right now, bro, we got a crazy shit going on. Fucking Brittany Griner. She, I don't really know how to say her name, Brittany Griner, Brittany Granger, but she went to Russia for, I guess for a game or whatever it was, don't want to spread misinformation, but she got locked up for having some carts. She had a cart. A cart of weed. Like, like nine and a half years, Oof. and she got nine years in a Russian prison. Did you see that? She had a gulag. Did you see that <laughs> uh, comparison video? It had like Britney Griner getting nine and a half years for a car or whatever. Yeah. I don't know how much it was, and then like some white girl, yeah, had like a bunch more shit. It got like uh, it wasn't even so. Do you think that shit was fair or not? No. Of course not. No, of course you know not. Russia is a different country. They got different laws and stuff like For that. For different races of people, yeah. <laughs> I mean, personally, I, I, I would have done my research before I took that card out there. Because if, if you go out to like Dubai or those Arab countries, they don't fuck around with that fucking shit. cut your they arm off. Like, like yeah, if you break any, their laws, it's any like serious religious country. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So she obviously knew what she was doing. I mean, okay. she packed Maybe she didn't know. Who knows? People make mistakes. Maybe that's true. Fun. Honestly, that's true. I, I really don't think she did nothing wrong, bro. I really she feel like it for I, feel, I feel like the government, she's the Russian government yeah. for real, is just trash. That's just oh, sure. They're that's trying just to make an example. But that's their country, you know? I, yeah, we can't I tell them But no, they mad they because do. of whatever they're trying to do yeah. with Ukraine, but like, we don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We already got we already got to deal with the president we have exactly <laughs> and you see like on the news now man like you don't hear shit about Ukraine no more nothing because they moved on to another hear topic nothing about Ukraine this is like the biggest news now but it was like breaking news breaking every news. like every story was like the countdown yeah. uh, the invasion of Ukraine and like and all you hear is about Putin bombing the hospitals and daycares and shit like hey he don't yeah. have to fight exactly <laughs> fucking there's Ukraine soldiers on TikTok. I've just like showing themselves around, like we ain't doing shit around here. They're literally just shooting their guns in the air, and just like ain't shit going on. I wow. feel like all that shit is just. That's gonna turn into the next North and South Korea. They're gonna have like a part time. Yeah, fucking propaganda, That's man. They're trying to have people talking about the wrong shit and arguing about crazy shit. Because exactly. all these crazy laws are getting passed, ain't nobody paying attention. Oh, so, shit. so y'all think that like this when it, when it hits major news like this, like. When Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian they broke up, everybody oh got a God. notification. Yo, I literally, everyone got a notification. I literally had to block all those shits off of my like Twitter and yeah, my Instagram because that's all I kept seeing. I was like, bro, bro not today. I feel like nobody gives just, a fuck about that shit. I mean, yeah, uh, of course, but like, there's tens, of, there's millions of people that give a fuck. About I don't. I mean, I'm saying like, I don't know why people give a fuck about that shit. I personally don't give a fuck about that. Because it's interesting. People like interesting. Man. No, it's drama. People it's drama. Like, but drama. that drama, stuff. drama makes Emotion. things interesting. Yeah. Like Emotion you know, stuff. it gives you excitement that people are going through some shit that you don't have to experience. Yeah, it and makes them look normal. I guess they're like, damn, they're fucking going through crazy shit just like us. Well, yeah, they're fucked up. Fucking, uh, I saw on Twitter that um, 
oh, Kanye's somewhere uh, tap dancing right now. Like, he's happy about the news. Oh, like that. Yeah, but he knew that was coming. I feel like he Kanye just knows what's up. Yeah, he probably planned them in a relationship together, made himself look bad and all this shit. Nah, like no, or, I just think, like, I Kanye think, you know, knew what, like, he was doing. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he the knows master, the mastermind. I fought with him so, I fought with Kanye so hard, bro, because he doesn't give a fuck about what people think about him, period. He just stays consistent. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Kanye, yeah. you watching this, bro? How late you doing? Very society. Fuck Two point You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you heavy, baby. But speaking of great artists, we have a great artist in the building tonight. Ah. Yo, we already know the fuck. We here for the Wild Boy Podcast. Gonna see what's up with dogs. Shout out, shout out to everybody, man. Put in work coming soon, my boy. Yeah, boy, don't sleep. What up, BT? What up, my boy? Uh, yeah. Get you to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. artists in the motherfucking building from 305. This man is making it ring all over the clubs. He got a new song coming on. Bro, put in work. This shit is ass clapping central Bananas. type Bananas. of song. Oh, boy. I'm telling you, when they hear this shit in Booby Trap, they're gonna go fucking dumb. Nuts. They go they're go going nuts. nuts all over Fort Lauderdale, South Florida. But when it, they do the exclusive in Booby Trap, that's where, he, you know what I'm saying? That shit is gonna go fucking bananas, bro. Right now, I want to bring to the Wildcast podcast. Man, we all got to stand up for this. Show. <laughs> Give them a minute. You know what I'm saying? We got motherfucking BT walking in the building right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There we go. That's the big dog right here, man. Nice to see you, bro. That's the big dog. So so we got BT in the motherfucking building right now. BT, baby. Yeah, man. You can chill, man. You can chill, man. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, that's what's up. Bro, happy to be here. So, how, what's going on? Like, how's everything been? Straight? Chilling, my boy. You know, just grinding, man. I feel you. We in that mood right now, so. Oh, we that new song, bro. Yeah. Like, no, no. First, you got to tell people who he is. Like, to tell, to tell them about yourself. Man, they going to know who he is. You know what I'm saying? BT, I mean, BT open book, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to hide, man. I do got a problem with bitches. I know, <laughs> I know that for a fact. Yeah. But other than that, nigga from 305 Miami, you know what I'm saying? I did, I, I had some time in Broward, so that's why I'm fucking with them boys, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Got a new song coming out. Been doing music for a little minute now. So now I'm just trying to take it to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so how long you been doing music for? Uh... I probably, I can say I've been doing this my whole life, for real. I just ain't take it serious for like the last two years type two years. shit. Yeah, actually stepping in, investing in, in the Yeah, like really just started to go hard in this shit. I, I told you had a, you had a different voice, but yeah, yeah so I was fucking with you. He was fucking with me, so yeah, so I appreciate that, young boy. Yeah, yeah, bro. So what inspired you to start creating? Like to actually take it serious and step in the booth? Uh, I don't know, man. Once I started taking, cause I, I ain't gonna lie, I used to be a, a, a raw basketball player. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Niggas used to be like that. Yeah, man, twitch the little horn. And niggas used to be like that on the court now, y'all boy. Hey, I'm finna, I'm finna do some masterpiece on y'all boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm tell nobody. But nah, that's what, I, I, I mean, I was just, I was always into music, man. So it was like, I always wanted to be a, a musician. I always wanted to be an artist, but you know, I let my athletics yeah. and then you know the shit you do outside of that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, all other extra shit. So you, kinda, you was pursuing like to play ball like Yeah, like college yeah. and all that shit, you know. Yeah, I don't know about college. College maybe, but you know, I couldn't stay in school, man, boy. I just wasn't yeah. school just wasn't for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, school wasn't for me either though. School wasn't for me. And look at me, I'm get my master's. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> man, hey, man. He knows something. He knows something. But yeah. That's what's up, bro. So you got in 
started taking it serious after like sports and shit. So obviously you had that competitive side in you. Type shit, yeah. I always, I always wanted to go hard. I always knew how to put it mat, you know what I'm saying? How to take it to the next level. So yeah. I'm at that point now in music. You gotta focus. Yeah. All right, so speaking of focus, bro, like what's one of y'all goals that y'all have for 2023? Uh, learn a new skill, get better at something else yeah. that I wasn't good at this year. It could be either uh, fucking coding, real estate, so. web development, maybe video editing, teaching, consulting, anything. Yeah. A skill that can get you skill. a something, you know? You can't be the same person yeah. as you was True. last year. You gotta always keep learning and you all learn new stuff. Find new ways to make money. For exactly. sure. I see you talking about tech skills, like web development. Yeah, because that's the future, yeah. technology. Shit, look at all now, all the shit that's going on. They got Wi-Fi on buses now. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, old, that's, bro. that's old, I yeah. guess. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they used to have, they got, <laughs> hey, South Korea didn't have Wi-Fi on trains underground for You heard what you said? South Korea, 10, 20. On point, well, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, but that's old. Yeah. 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 You yeah, live over there for so long. Like, I literally lived over there for five years, and then, like, you get over here, I'm just like, the fuck, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we behind right now, bro. Yeah, we behind the fashion, we behind the music, we behind the technology, we well, behind the currency. We is the music, though, if you yeah. really think about it. They come, they pick up, they They still in the culture? Yeah, yeah, but you gotta think about that, though. There's more of them than us. So even though we think our shit is, like, K pop kill us. You listen, you, you listen you, to K-pop? Yeah. K-pop, K-pop, K-pop is it lit? You got a K-pop man. <laughs> 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 I was fucking K-pop before the thing over here. Before it was thing. So he was on that. He was on that. He was on that. I was talking about H&M. I was talking about H&M before y'all knew what H&M was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, was <doing. laughs> I had the P coat and everything. Yeah. Like, How much you spent on that one? Like 400 Damn. It was a half P coat too. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still remember. I got pictures. Follow me on IG, Curious Society. Let me show you the real. The real. Show you the real. The real. Yeah, Throwback. Right, Throwback Thursday. I'm going to post a picture of me in Korea with my Pico. Yeah, that's what's up. So he was talking about that he wants to learn a new skill for 2023. What's one of the goals that you have, Quasi? Uh, in 2023 or before 2023? By 2023. At least starting or like, you know. Yeah, so by 2023, uh, I want my business to like expand, you know what I'm saying? And I want to give opportunities to other people as well. I want to, like, I literally want to build something that everybody can benefit from. And I'm the type of person that I also give. So I feel like the more that I receive the love, the more good love I'll give out. So I'm looking forward to like, Doing a lot more charity. I'm looking forward to doing a lot of, like of like community, you know, community giving, community this, giving back, yeah. stuff like that. Even some challenges, giving away free money, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So look out, uh, I'm gonna give away some hundred dollar gift cards and special uh, challenges that I'm gonna yeah. have coming up. We might give away some AK gear. Some AK gear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, BT? What's the goal that you want to complete, Mark? Oh, I want to complete that you haven't already completed this year. All I know is I'm trying to get these visuals out. Yeah. I'm trying to get these videos out. Get this music and out. They're going to be crazy. Wow. You know shout, out, shout out them boys. Shout out Vana. She going to help me with this put in work video. OG Kerr. I got to put a shout out for y'all. Okay, boy. Okay. Shout out yeah. OG Kerr. That boy Follow us on IG. Uh, yeah. Y'all boy helping a nigga put it on. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be lit. Put in work, man. Coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Put in saying? work. You heard it here it, first. Put in work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so by 2023, man, if y'all don't see this guy learn a new skill, if you don't see him giving back to his community, you don't see all the stuff that he got going on with the new video, putting in work, coming out, bro, yeah, you, you better you better say something, bro. You yeah, better say something. Bro, I was watching this podcast, you was talking that shit, man. <laughs> Where the fuck is that, man? <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, me, myself, personally, man, I can relate to that goal that you're talking about, community-wise. I want to give, be able to give back to my community. 
You know what I'm saying? Just like bringing amazing artists in like BT. An entrepreneur like Sting. And another entrepreneur like Quasi, because Quasi got a lot of shit going on, bro. Executive protection, Beautiful Society brand coming out, the merch coming out. Man, man. shit going up. Music, artists. Music, artists, working with artists, shit. You hey, you shit. may see a managing partnership going on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, if it happens, bro, let God let God do his work. You feel me? But that is a goal that I do have is to work with my community. But me personally, bro, I want to be as healthy as I can be. You know what I'm saying? AK Fit. AK Fitness. AK Nutri Fit. AK Fitness line coming soon. I just want to throw that in there. But fuck it. As healthy as I can be, bro. I want to be those motherfuckers that wake up at 4 in the morning. Working out. And, you know what I'm saying? And I remember the whole army day, bro. I miss that. I miss that. That's the whole army day, bro. I miss the day. Oh, at 5 a.m. to 4 to 5 a.m. bro, they got some shit. Hey, when we start making our own schedule, that's going to be our routine. Exactly, bro. We're going to have to wake up early. We got to wake up early. You're going to be buzzing shit. Fuck around with me. Yeah. I just be, think think about me, though. I just be strong, though. I don't get bigger. That's a problem with my body. I get lit. I get cut though. Stop playing with nigga. I used to be used to pump ninety pounds back in high school. Like, oh shit! Sure. Ninety, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90 pounds dumbbells on you. Dumbbells. Oh man, shit! Nah. Your boy used to be out here. That's what's up. So you used to max out and shit when they had basketball like workouts and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got shoulders. You what, got what's the highest you max out on? What? Uh, like bench. Bench. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. My, my best bench. Wait, it was, it was back in high school, bro. It was like two, 245 on each side with a, with a, with a 10 or with a 25. That boy pushing that shit. That's what's up. That was, I can't do that shit right now. How much you, how much you max out? <laughs> I can't do that shit right now. I, 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 be, I be working out about myself. I need, I I need to work out with more people so I can push myself. Push more weight, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it always can. good to work out with like at least another person where you guys could compete and challenge each other. That's true, man. Yeah. It's good at bro. You gotta wake up, bro. Four hey. five a.m., bro. What was your max? My max bench, three twenty-five. Oh, that, that was the most I hit. Yeah, I was like twenty-two years old. That was, that was oh shit, shit. I, nigga, my shit was four or five. Baby. It's on video too, though. <laughs> but um, no reason. I'm already talking about max. If you talking about bench, bro. I gotta talk about the squat. What's the what's the max you squat? squat? Like, you big as shit, bro. Nah, like, yeah. but my squat was my my best was my shit. Uh, my squat was probably like four fifteen, maybe four sixty five. Yeah, like four fifteen okay. between four fifty five and four fifteen. But my bench, my max ever in my bench was four or five. Yeah, like one, you know what I'm saying? Four plates each side, one right. That's how it was for me in squats. I ain't gonna lie. But I was also big as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a little little compared to what I was in high school. I feel you. I feel you. I feel like everybody in high school was just like they. <laughs> that, that was a crime? They, that was, I, was, I, I was like eight. I don't, mean, I don't know. I think you're bro. bro I, I literally gained think so. one inch since high school, bro. Yeah. Of height. That was a big thing of my whole life. That's that's a good segue when he was talking about prime. When you think your prime is? Because I feel like, man, like, you still in. I'm still in my prime. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, your prime is what you said. Yeah, you know, I ain't got no set. My prime is forever, bro. <laughs> forever. I'm prime. So you think you're in your prime, prime. In, like, in your 60s and 70s? Could be. You got it. That's better. Your prime is your mental status. I guess so. You know what what I'm we're we're going to talk about physical. When physical you're, prime. When's your physical prime? I mean, there's 60 year old buff ass. Oh, yeah. There's 60 year old that walk, walk circles around us. Right, yeah, for sure. So you got, so got it depends on the person, the individual. Like like the rock. You, you think you could uh, tussle with that nigga? Nah. I probably do, I'll cardio him though. I got I'll run him and I'll start him. Hey, yeah. I mean he must know something. He's doing all those action movies and shit. Yeah, nice. I don't know some. Started out at WWE. Started out yeah, started at the Kings. Well. For real. Started at the U. Yeah. Then he went to WWE. It was just too good. Hey, oh, and then everybody realized, oh, he black and Samoan? Yeah. Oh, that's a marketing tool. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He got like the, uh, the, less, you know, 
the white people like you know interaction like he can deal with them and then he also like cool with like the white the brothers, brothers, the brothers. brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like yeah, well, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? but he could be like with the white people in the in the office and except shit. for Tyrese I don't know if Tyrese yeah, yeah you I know. think Tyrese <laughs> can do it too but no, I'm like, saying no I'm saying them, him and Tyrese can't get along oh yeah I don't know why they probably got into it during one of the sets who knows they disagreed you know fucking uh Vin Diesel owns the whole franchise Fast of Fast and Furious. Bro, that nigga is making bread, bro. Why he not a director? Because the movies are starting. He's probably not directing it. Obviously, it's probably too much. Work. Like the last one was just like I was just like they OD. They're not even they're not even cars no more. They should go back to yeah, the street. Yeah, these niggas, yeah. are, these yeah. niggas is racing in the sky and shit. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, the next episode or whatever movie is probably going to be more street racing. I think it's two more, more two more as the franchise is done. The best one in my opinion. I think they try, the last one was nine, right? No, I think, yeah, nine. Yeah, so I think they're going to do 10 and 11. 10, I mean, they should do the street hey, By then, they're going to be old as shit. And like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be... Like, hey, hey you see it? That bad, they gonna hey, you see how Arnold Schwarzenegger look right now? Can you imagine doing a Terminator movie without the computer animation? Yeah. Hilarious. Crazy shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Crazy <laughs> shit. But, I mean, technology nowadays, bro, they're making people look younger. Like, yeah, I know, but that's the computer. Yeah. That's the computer you know what I'm saying? Because Will Smith got a movie like that. I was just. Double. Oh, you talking about. Just, oh, uh, <laughs> Gemini Man. Gemini Man. Gemini Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, I don't know why I ain't doing good in movies, but that, that shit was fire to me, bro. It wasn't, yeah, it was It, it was, was pretty good. good. No, it was, it the kid was like, he went to college at the end and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, mm, yeah. And then the yeah. other, it, the killers, yeah. dog. The fighting scenes were dope. The fighting scenes, yeah. Them boys were beating each other's asses. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucking, uh, you ever I, seen that movie? I never watched that movie. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Damn, that shit's crazy, bro. That movie was pretty good. Shout out Will Smith, man. I know he was upset and all that shit. Good, I, I can separate the, the, I can separate the actor from the person, man. Will Smith a great actor, bro. Yeah, but don't don't get sent out like that, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Yeah. So, all right. Fuck all right. You know, if you was in that predicament, standing next to your lady, and she gave you the side eye, man, would you go walk up to Chris Rock and smack him? Uh, I, I I said like at the last podcast, I ain't never. I would never put myself in that situation. I would never do a bitch like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 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 you would be in the, in the crowd by yourself, so you wouldn't yeah. even be in that situation. Yeah, like I'm just yeah, I'm risk management, baby. Like, so, I got so, <laughs> so you think he did it to himself, basically, by still continuing after? Yeah, basically, and then uh, yeah, I feel bad because I I rock with Will Smith. One can say yeah, I rock with Chris, Chris Rock. You don't think we, Chris we Rock said Rock. anything fucked up? What? Well, no, yeah, he antagonized. Yeah. But again, you don't know He's what a comedian people, though. You yeah. don't know what people emotion emotionally going through. People can snap at any moment. Oh, that's right. that's what you happened. know what I'm saying? Like I've had those moments where I snap. You know what I mean? So I I I, I understand the situation. You know, everybody has their own demons to, to deal with, and he did what he did. But like we, we moved on from that. <laughs> Media is the only one that's keeping that shit alive. We all had our moments, but that did look kind of fake though. It did look right. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah, I saw a couple TikToks well. where they were kind of exposing the shit. Like, man, yeah. that's just a they, are, they can always expose something that's real. True. They always always expose them. Sometimes you just have to let facts be facts and not make it your own facts. Cause we create our own facts. Yeah, and that's facts. Okay. <laughs> and that's facts. <laughs> but speaking of like industry, industry stars and Chris Rock, Will Smith type shit. BT, bro. What's good, my boy? You breaking in. You breaking break in out. Life. You breaking out. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you breaking in. Like, you, you doing your thing. They about to know you, who you are for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Bro. bro. Y'all the first, man. Y'all boys hey, exclusive. Nah, bro. bro. Real yeah. talk, though. You gonna be the one. You know what I'm saying? Doing yeah. your thing. Continue. Just like you doing your thing with the entrepreneurship. You doing your thing with your businesses. Bro. We breaking in, breaking out. You feel me? We can name this podcast right now. Breaking in, breaking out. Mm. BT, what's an artist, industry wise and local wise, that you want to work with? So industry first. Industry. I ain't gonna lie, Kodak the Goat, man. Yeah, so I Kodak. Gotta, that's my Kodak, nigga. Kodak, 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 Kodak Black. Kodak. I fuck with you heavy, baby. Shout out Kodak. Kodak. I gotta hear from Kodak. What a favorite artist. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to that boy Glock Nine, man. That boy, that boy Glock Nine right now. When he get out, I need a feature, my boy. 
Them boys, them boys don't know he the GOAT too. He like the mini GOAT behind Kodak, but, yeah. you know, but he don't get the same recognition. Why you think that is? Uh, I hey, y'all look up these artists we talking about too. Cause that boy, I mean, he locked up right now. So I mean, he, he been in there for a minute. He been in there since. I think he, he getting on like, a couple, like, like five, five or seven, some yeah. shit like that. Or it could be, could, could be two, three, but he in there for a little. Yeah. He, that, boy, that boy be dropping that like, gas. Uh, I like, I like Florida artists mainly. mainly yeah. Yeah. I, I bought my Florida shit. Wherever state I'm traveling to, I always bought my Florida shit. Yeah, I bought yeah, my Florida yeah. shit and my Caribbean shit. That's that's who made me. Shout out, shout out to the artists in Orlando, Jacksonville, all them boys. Yeah, yeah. So, Tallahassee doing their thing. Shout out Whitney, you know, the Messiah. He's a R&B, like slow, lo-fi artist, you know, coming out right there in Orlando. He's doing his thing. But yeah. I just Orlando, you know, I had to shout that boy out. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. So local, I mean, I already got a one with OG Curve. Fuck with that boy. I ain't got one with my boy Johnny over here. We gonna have to, we got to tap in the live. Hey, yeah. I like that's the in. kind of shit I like to hear. We ain't got to, we got to I'm tap in. That's what's up. We got to tap in, man. And then, oh, shout out to my dog, my dog Black Eyed. You know, we got another, we got a feature. So Black Eyed. Yeah, that's that's his name. I check that boy out. He got he he going hard right. Yeah, all these artists we're gonna plug in so y'all see as as we name them, y'all gonna see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's like So industry wise, you'll work with Kodak, Glock Nine. Uh and yeah. I should say a third one in there. I mean if you want to. Uh to. I should say a female. I just say a female. Oh uh, I said a female. What female? Yeah, what female uh, artist would you work with? I ain't gonna lie. I love this female. Her name is Love Enchanting. Love and what? Love and Enchanting. Yeah, Love Enchanting. Love Enchanting. Yeah, like she she's she's, she's so fine, boy. I ain't gonna lie. If you see this, if you see this video, you know, holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Like, you looking, you looking, you looking crazy. That of course. But you wanna work with her though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big. Grab by the top and you try to do that mulatto shit. Yeah, yeah, you trying to fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he lost his train thought. Like, yeah, yeah, she's so fine. Yo, so how like, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. about, about the music. He's inspired by her beauty and her art. Oh yeah, that Ruby. I like Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Okay. And then you know, Cardi B might have to get Cardi B for sure. Shout out to Cash Dog. Cash Dog. I mean, she be snapping. So I mean, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, but the female artists, like shout out to the female artists these days, man. That's a different age, you know, man. They going yeah. crazy. Aka Kevin. Yeah, they going Twitter. crazy, man. That's what's up, bro. City girls, I'm not need one. You know, they yeah, from the crib. They lit. I, I feel like, bro, City girls. City girls can get on the remix of your release right now. Put in work, bro. That is crazy. That shit. shit. Ooh. Crazy. Hey, a lot of people get on the remix. Bro, Coach yeah. C. Hey. Coach K. P. Holla at BT. Hey, Put in work. Get them city girls on that. And hey, we also fucking remix. Yeah. for some, uh. That shit Dances. is gonna go crazy, bro. To have yeah, like a dance on the course, yeah, put yeah. it work. Hell yeah, bro. Put some, make some TikToks with yeah, it. Yeah, we exactly, need some TikToks with work. Get some influencers, bro. Go to sub me. Inbox me, please. Exactly, bro. Inbox all of us. Tell me, bro. We go viral. It's a, it's a rap, bro. It's a rap. Yeah. Go to submithub.com, bro. And you can pay influencers, pay people who make TikToks and shit. You send them your song and they'll create their own dance. And you can siphon through all that shit and fucking find, yeah. oh, this the dance that, that fucks with my shit the most. Like this, I feel like I, I can see the universe doing this dance. Like giving out gems. Boom. You know what I'm saying? And fucking do it like that, bro. You can pay 10, 25, 50 bucks, bro, for certain influences to pay on different platform levels. So there's somebody that can have 10K, somebody got 25K, somebody got 50 to 100,000. Pay 100 bucks. They'll make a video, bro. They'll post your shit, repost it. Come on, man. It's out there, bro. That's, it's that's out there. We just got to go get it, bro. Just got to go get it, man. So with all that being said, bro, i like to thank y'all boys for coming through with this bitch, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Wildcast podcast, man. Johnny Trombone with the U, not an old signing out. We got my boy right Stay here. Double. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fair Society 2.0. Okay, and for our guest of honor.
Check me, man. Y'all boy, check me out, man. All the socials. BT Willie 305, man. Y'all boy, go sleep on the kid. Hey, you, you right hey, you going up, man. 305. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Shout out for BT Willie again. Coming through. He just finished his music video, Put In Work, with OG Curb. So that video is coming out soon, so look out for that. It's a banger song going crazy all over the clubs in South Florida, and Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. Soon it's going to be all over the nation. So shout out BT Willie. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with the Wildcast Podcast. Have a great night.